this work is number eight from Giuliani's 12 Contradances, and in, published in 1925, and not a very well-known collection of his, and the manuscripts um, aren't readily available, so um, access to them hasn't been very high. And I would, although I would, this is an arrangement of, Ross, of a duet from Rossini's opera, um, I would say it's more just inspired by the duet. It certainly does conform to the, the melodic contour and the, the sections of it, and that little forte section in the middle. When that comes in, it, that all is from the opening of the, of the duet. But, but it's still a little bit loose, so it's definitely just like an inspiration. So we'll have a lesson on this work. It's not too much to talk about. Uh, but follow the lesson for free if you already have the sheet music in a different book. It's published in a few places. Um, you can just follow the lesson for free, but if you're interested, I do have an edition of the work, so you can you can find the link um, below the video. So whenever you have a, a heavily vocal work, um, or whenever you have an arrangement of any kind, of course, listen to the original, get into the mood of Rossini. Uh, it's very playful, and um, especially in a duet in a duet format. So listen to the original, but also just um, get into the vocal quality of the music and make sure you're practicing the melody on its own. You know, and, and have some fun with that melody. And then when you add the bass notes in, uh, most of them are just open strings, but when you do add them in, just make sure your melody is still phrased, the, you know, in, in the way that you want it to be. Um, in terms of other parts of the piece, I think a walkthrough will pretty much cover it, but um, you can add, you can go a little bit stronger in the second half if you want. On the second reiteration of that, you can go a little softer, and then always playful. So let's just do a little walkthrough of the work. You could play this in, in various different places. Probably best to play it up here just because you can add all these slurs in. A lot of these slurs are editorial, the hammer-ons and pull-ups in guitar lingo, but the ascending and descending slurs are editorial. Um, nevertheless, I, I think they really help on any of the 16th notes. And you know, because of that, um, that, that grace note there, uh, I would just keep it all in, in fourth position there. And those, those grace notes just along with the bass note, right? So that shift there, pretty easy. So all these non-chord tones. Resolution. And all through here, these are all non chord tones going to resolutions. Non chord tone, resolution. There's resolution there. So, yeah. You can accent the, the non chord tone just a little bit, um, but then resolve it to the next note. So, not too much to, to talk about there. On the second half, um, a little bit of sliding around of the fingers, but nice and easy, very secure. Um, I consider this F actually part of that phrase. And then use your second finger here because of this D sharp that occurs afterwards. And then you have some fun. Um, you know, a lot of my advice for this piece is is listening to Rossini and listening to. You can even listen to a lot of the other music from the time period, but just getting in that in that mood and that vocal mood and and how the lines um, um, work and the style. It's 
there, it's very, very stylized in the way that it uses um, legato and in the way that you play the notation. Um, it's not super direct. It's not strict. It's not like playing Bach or something like that. Um, it's, it's a much different uh, beast. So listen to the opera a lot, get into the mood, and then make sure that you're phrasing in a similar way. So you might want to listen to a, a, a lot of the opera and just research the time period a significant amount. Uh, but you can have fun with some of those lines. You can play it fairly straight if you want. But if you know, you could have a little bit more fun. You know, really pushing each phrase. like a little bit of um, spiraling out when you have those longer 16th note runs. So feel free to have, have some real good fun with that, that material. It's not super heavy um, content, so um, putting a little bit of joy into it really does help.